Hi, uh, my name's Alison Watson and I've been asked to take part in a project run by Doncaster Council to encourage people to get involved and enjoy um, art. Uh, so the, the idea is to encourage them to attend events and um, feel more confident about uh, getting involved in art, uh, in the art sector and, also, and really to become um, art enthusiasts. Uh, so my interest in art start, really started only about three years ago when I lost my job. Um, I had all this time on my hands and I didn't know what to do with myself. So I, I kind of started painting, just, just went to some basic classes and I got really into it and uh, I, I find it very therapeutic um, and it's just a very lovely thing to do um, and there's some lovely people out there doing the same thing as well so you know that's that's good as well um, uh, my my the movement that I've chosen to focus on which I've just been looking at recently is um, early impressionism which is it actually dates back to the 1860s um, when a group of uh, a group of artists that lived in and around Paris came together and displayed their work and their artwork was very alternative at the time um, it, it was very challenging and um, a, a bit um, radical uh, so it, it, obviously it isn't now because so much has moved forward in the art scene since then but I think um, this is beautiful work because it's just so um, gentle and uh, and it gives it, it an impression of, of a lovely kind of world so um so that's why why I'm I'm kind of interested in it and I wanted to work out how to um, do it myself so to to be able to do it yourself you do need to kind of look at it and appreciate it so this is why I'm thinking that I might be able to encourage other people to just appreciate the art as opposed to actually doing it um, actually painting you don't need to do that but you can actually really get a lot out of just looking at some of these paintings so um, the the uh, impressionist movement um, is characterised by uh, a few basic, um, well, almost principles really. Um, so one of them is the the fact that they used very small um, brush strokes, which are easily um, recognisable. So you can see that you can actually see the brush strokes in the paintings. Um, so that's one of the things and um, they tended to incorporate movement and light in, in the painting. So with these small brush strokes, you'd get different, different shades and um, different kind of directions, which then um, gave, gave the, the painting a feeling of actually being real, um, being, you know, you being actually in that, in that um, scene. So I think that was that was one of the other things. And then the other um, one was the fact that they, they were take they were actually paintings of um, just everyday scenes, um, normally outside, normally painted outside. Um, so the artists would take their uh, art equipment out with them and just sit and, and paint, which is just a lovely thing to do, isn't it? So. Um, so that that was the, that's the main kind of um, characteristics of, of the impressionist movement. Um, I I again was drawn to it because of the gentle colours and the um, the brush you know this, the the thin brush strokes, um, and it just made a simple scene look beautiful and kind of inviting. And it, it was uh, those kind of, those things that. Um, have, have really uh, made me interested in it. 
So I decided to have a go at painting, a basic painting myself, um, just to see what it was all about. And I, I'm the kind of person that actually needs to have to, I have to do something to, to actually um, le learn about it sometimes rather than just being told. Um, so I I got in, into the mixing the colours and um, how to do the brush strokes and um, trying to create that sense of movement and light, um, which I think I've kind of achieved, but not as as well. Obviously, not like Monet, but um, it's been it's been a pleasurable project because I've actually got a lot out of doing the painting, which is part of the thing for me. Um, so the, the first painting that I'm looking at is um, Spring in Giverny. Um, and this is a very simple painting um, showing you a, a meadow um, in Giverny, which is actually, Giverny is a little village outside of Paris. Um, so it shows you this lovely meadow with the little white flowers and the trees on, in the background and um, a, a house um, right but hidden behind the trees. Um, so, so quite fairly straightforward. So I'm going to just get the original artwork by Monet up on the screen. So the colours are soft greens. Um, uh, with the white dots in the grass leading up to those wispy trees, um, which focuses the viewer onto the trees and the house in the background. I noticed also that the um, trees were highlighted with these lovely soft pinks and um, they were very delicately done, so there's no hard solid brush strokes. So I'm just going to twizzle my um, laptop round to show my version of the um the painting and um I think this this project just really gave me an understanding of what Monet was was trying to achieve in, in his artwork. Um, He'd take a naturally beautiful scene and and highlight um, the gentle colours and the light um, and composition to make it pleasing and, and easy to look at. Um, one of the things I forgot to mention was that I'm actually focusing on Monet only at the moment. Um, the, the Impressionists were, was a group of artists and um, th this is the book that I picked up years ago in a, in a charity shop um, and it's got so many brilliant, brilliant paintings in it. Of, oh, it's a bit difficult to show you, but um, if I can just kind of... Uh, it's a great book. Um, so, uh, so the other Impressionists um, are Pissarro, Manet, Degas, Suzanne um, and Renoir. Um, these, these ones I haven't actually looked at yet, but, but for me, um, Monet is, is the, um, my favourite. So that's, that's that. Um, so the, the next painting that I looked at um, was the woman with parasol. And um, Monet did this painting he did um, 18 versions of it, and it's a painting of his, his wife in um, a meadow, hold, well, his wife holding a parasol in a meadow in Giverny again. Um, and he just wanted to try it from different angles and different positions. Um, so he played a lot with light uh, on this painting um, and, and movement as well, light and movement again in this one. So um, I shall get the video, I mean, the painting up on the screen. The thing I loved about this one was the, uh, the beautiful fluffy white clouds um, that were displayed in that lovely blue sky. 
Um, and it was just the simple femininity of the lady holding the parasol, uh, appearing to be taking a stroll through the meadow on a warm sunny day. Um, this painting was done on an angle as if the painter was actually sitting on the grass looking up at his beautiful wife. So um, here's my version of this, the uh, lady with the parasol painting. And I really did get a lot, out, a lot of pleasure out of painting this. You'll, you'll notice that, um, that there's so many brush strokes and had to incorporate um, light and shade in, in the shadow and in, in the grass. Um, so yeah, really nice painting to do. Um, so the the next one um, is called the Path in Wheat at Pourville, which is a painting of a um, walk down onto a beach, just walking down a sandy path. And for me at the moment with the uh, coronavirus, I'm, I'm really wanting to get onto a beach at some point. Um, so this one was something that I could do um, at home and, and take myself there really. So, uh, so it, was, it was a very nice one to paint. Um, I shall get the painting up onto, your, onto the screen. So this painting took me to a wonderful view um, overlooking the beach and sea beyond. Um, and I loved the gentle movement of the grasses and sea. And um, this was created using those small but visible brush strokes, which Monet is so well known for. Um, the, the natural vibrant blue of the sea and the sky contrasts um, with that delicate sandy path. And I just love the, those wispy grasses. Uh, so, so here's my version up here. Um, there. Um, you can just about see it from, from there. Um, but like I say, it was just a, a, it's just a lovely painting of a, a very simple beach scene, which um, was, was lovely to paint. Uh, so the, the next one was um, Agapanthus flowers, which is, um, this, this uh, really helped me to understand this, this brush movement, um, that, well the small brush strokes being used to display movement um, in his paintings. Uh, you can clearly see um, these brush strokes in this one and, and the directions and the different shades. Um, so I shall get the painting up on the screen. And uh, so Monet had a, a lot of these wispy lily plants around the um, banks of his pond in Caverny. And you can clearly see the wispy brush strokes he uses to highlight that gentle movement of the uh, flowers amongst the reeds. Again, here's, uh, here's my version of um, this painting, uh, which isn't quite as detailed as Monet's original painting, but I think I've managed to get the, mo the, the brush strokes and the movement and the colours um, that are so, uh, you can really, you know, see those in those paintings. Um, so the, the final one that I wanted to mention is probably one of the most famous ones is the bridge over the pond of water lilies so he actually um, did 250 versions of of paintings that were of this subject so um, it was it was either the bridge and the water lilies or just the water lilies and he experimented with color and shade and um, you know composition uh, with these. Um, so I've just, I've, I've basically looked at the most famous one, which is the bridge with the water lilies. Um, so let's get that painting up on the screen. So Monet here um, experimented with colour and reflection in the water. Um, and again, he used something 
very simple and beautiful to demonstrate the wonderful movement of colour he's so famous for. And here's my version of this painting. Um, I've actually got it hung up uh, in my house, so I just thought I'll, I'll show it, you on the screen. Um, so that uh, was another useful exercise to learn how Monet um, did reflections in water as well. Uh, so, and I'm just going to move on to the last one, which is um, the water, the actual water lilies, uh, just to show you the, um, you know, the variations that he did, uh, which, so th this one is um, a beautiful, colourful um, painting of just a very simple water lily scene. So I've only just touched on the um, the Impressionist art movement uh, by just looking at Monet, focusing on Monet. Um, but I think I'm hoping that that's given you an idea of of the that 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 movement. And um, I've really quite enjoyed doing the exercise because it's not only has it helped me uh, to think through what I've learned. Um, but also to use this, the software to put this video together. So um, thank you for listening to me and uh, I hope to see you at some art events in the future. Okay.